Hey folks, hope you're doing well. Uh, my name is Spencer Smith. I'm an engineer at Talos Systems. I wanted to chase a video that I made a few days back about running Talos on Proxmox um, with a video of how to do it on VirtualBox. So let's get started. Uh, should be a pretty quick little demo here. Um, you can see my screen. So the first thing you'll want to do is head to our GitHub. Uh, Talos Systems is the org. Talos is the repo. And in the releases there, we've got our new beta release and this release and anything after it. Um, down in the assets, we'll have a Talos AMD64.iso file. Uh, you'll want to go ahead and download that. I've already downloaded it, so I will skip that step. But you'll want to pull that down. Um, and you'll also want to pull down Talos CTL for your architecture uh, if you haven't already. That'll You put that in your path, and that should let you talk to, uh, to a Talos node. So once you have those, you can head over to VirtualBox and we'll create a new VM. So I'm gonna call this one Talos VBox0. Uh, give it a type of Linux, give it a version of other Linux. And then I'm gonna tweak, uh, tweak the RAM, give it two gigs here. Um, I'm gonna leave all the virtual hard disk stuff the same. A gig disk is fine. Um, and once that VM's created, we'll head back into the settings and tweak a few more values. So I'm going to give it two CPUs. Uh, down in the storage, I'm going to click this little uh, CD. And we're going to go ahead and say choose a disk file and then upload that Talos AMD64 ISO that we talked about a few seconds ago. Um, and then the last step is in the network section. I'm going to attach this to the bridge adapter. Um, and this is my Ethernet interface on my desktop here. Uh, but I want to have this VM come up on my home subnet, so the 192.168 address space, uh, so I'm going to use the bridge adapter for that. And then I'll say OK, and then we can go ahead, I believe at this point, and fire this bad boy up. Um, I'll say start with that ISO, and what will happen is it will boot that ISO and it will enter um, maintenance mode. So it'll come up and give us its IP. And we'll use that IP to generate a Talos machine config for this file or for this node and for our worker node uh, that we'll bring online as well. So um, I know this is tiny. Uh, the console for VirtualBox is just small and it doesn't seem to want to respond to scaling. So um, anyway, the machine's reachable at 192.168.1.114. So what we'll do is we'll take that information um, and then we'll issue a Talos CTL gen config command. Um, the cluster name is Telus VBox. And then I'm going to change this value to be 114. Um, this is my cluster endpoint. This would be my uh, this is my one control plane node, so that's really all I got. Um, and then I'll give it a dash O for VBox configs. So that's just an output directory to, to kind of keep track of all this stuff. So we'll go ahead and generate a config there. And I can show you what those look like. Um, this is the init.yaml that we just created. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, just know that for VirtualBox and for this demo, um, the default config will work just fine. I don't need to tweak any values or anything like that. Uh, but there are a ton of values in here. If you do want to do something different, uh, go check out our docs at telos.dev uh, for that. <laughs> so let's go back over to VirtualBox and get our terminal back and our console back. So again, we're waiting in maintenance mode here. And what I'll do is I'll say Talos CTL apply dash config. Um, I'm gonna give it an endpoint of this IP address, 192.168.1.114 and a dash n for node, 1.114. And then I will say um, dash f for file and we will pass it vbox configs init.yaml. And then I'll also pass an insecure flag uh, because in maintenance mode, you know, we booted into maintenance mode. There's no existing machine config for Talos. Uh, so it doesn't have keys or anything like that. So it's listening in kind of just the dumbest mode possible. And we just need to say, yeah, we're not worried about keys right now. Just push this config into there. Uh, so we'll apply that config. And on the left, you can see it picked it up. Um, it's doing some rework of the network and it's pulling down the installer image, um, our new beta installer image. Once it does that, it should start installing Talos. You can see that and it's already rebooting. Um, and so while that while that's kind of finishing up there, um, we're gonna go ahead and 
create a second VM. So I'll create a Talos VBox one. Uh, same kind of deal here. We'll give it a Linux type, other Linux version, two gigs on the RAM. Virtual disk is fine. All good there. And then we'll tweak those settings again. So two CPUs, add our Talos ISO and make this a bridged adapter as well. Okay, so that's all good stuff. Um, we'll go ahead and start this guy up as well. Uh, same story, it'll come up in maintenance mode and we will target it to push in a join.yaml. So let's wait on it to boot here and we will get it going. Okay, so this is 1.115. Um, I'm going to issue an apply config again, uh, just simply switching the endpoint and the node flags to 115, and the file that we will pass is going to be a join.yaml. And so again, same deal, that should kind of do its thing. And then in the background, we'll check on our first one. So it looks like it's doing some boot cube stuff, so Kubernetes should be pretty close to up and running. What I'll do here is I will export uh, my Talos config environment variable to point to that VBox configs Talos config that we created. And then once I do that, I can kind of target these things a little, uh, a little more cleanly. So I'll do a Talos CTL uh, config endpoints 192, 168, 1.114. Double check myself, make sure that was right. I'm pretty sure it is. And then config nodes, kind of same deal. Um, you can do multiple nodes, multiple endpoints, all that stuff with Talos CTL. I'm just setting it to this first one just for the sake of easiness here. But I should now be able to do a Talos CTL D message um, and I'll get all of D message output for that 114 node. Um, and it looks like it's pretty much I'm pretty sure it's done with all of the boot sequence. Um, so we can go ahead and pull down a kubeconfig as well. Um, tell us CTL kubeconfig current directory, and then I'm gonna give it a dash F flag because I've already got a kubeconfig file in here. I'm just gonna blow it away and override it. So this will talk to that Talos node and generate a kubeconfig using the keys in, on the box itself and return that back to us. So now I can simply do an export kubeconfig equals kubeconfig which is the file that's generated locally. And I can kubectl get nodes. And there we have it. So in just a matter of a couple of, a couple of minutes there, we've got a one control plane node and one worker node um, on VirtualBox. Uh, pretty easy stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, feel free to ping me on our community Slack. Um, I will pop up this little intro scene one more time, talos.dev for all of our docs. Um, that's also got some pointers to our Slack and then of course the GitHub link as well. Uh, hope this helps. Uh, hope you enjoy Talos. Thanks a lot.